Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel and I welcome you to the second episode of Science Paper 1 2024, the one that was written by the GC candidates. So today we are working out this problem that has to do with electricity, current electricity. So <clears throat> without any further ado, let's get started. So here, the saying figure B7.1 shows resistors connected to a 4 volts power supply. And so what is the effective resistance of the circuit? So here, you need to, <clears throat> to realize that we have these two resistors connected parallel to each other. Then there's this one, which is in series. So what we need to do is we, we resolve these two so that we have one resistor here. And when we have one resistor, this resistor here will be in series with that one. So let's start with this. So for resistors that are, in, that are, that are parallel to each other, we find total resistance by saying our equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So, <clears throat> Let me do this. Okay, so here we can name this one as resistor 1, then this one as resistor 2. So we need to plug those values here in the formula. So we're going to say 1 over R E is equal to 1 over, that is a 6, plus 1 over 12. So here we can rewrite this. And then we go ahead and find the lowest common multiple of these two denominators. That is 6 and 12. So 12 is the lowest common multiple. The question now is what is 6 into 12? That's 2 times 1. That is 2. Then plus 12 into 12. That's 1. 1 times 1. That is 1. We drop down this. We say 1 R E is equal to 2 plus 1, that is a 3 over 12. So now, this takes us back to gradate mathematics. So when you have fractions like this, what you need to do is you get rid of the fractions by cross-multiplying whatever you have. So then I say 12 times 1, that is a 12, which is equal to RE times 3, that will give us 3 RE. That is a resistance equivalent. Now, our interest is to find the equivalent resistance, right? So we say uh, 3 there, 3 there. We divide 3, both sides of the equation. In other words, we say we multiply by the reciprocal inverse of this number here, which is a 3. Normally, it happens to be 1 over 3. Now, that's confusing to many because the foundation is not well laid at grade 8. <clears throat> Hence, we just say divide this coefficient on both ends of the equation. This side and that side. So 3 there, 1, 3 there, 1. 3 into 12, that gives us a 4. So we're going to have RE. Are you seeing that? That is RE here is equal to 4. So now we can redraw what we have so far. We can redraw what we have so far. This one now here will look like this. Let me show you. What we are going to have now is this. We're going to have something like this. Let me just do this one real fast. Okay, so that's what we have. <laughs> that's the new circuit that we're going to have because these two have been resolved into one uh, one resistor. So this one here is this one here, which is 3 ohms. And then this one here, since we have found the equivalent resistors, uh, the equivalent resistor, that would be 4 ohms. So we have 3 ohms and 4 ohms. Now, when you look at the arrangement here, this arrangement is a series arrangement. So now, how do you find uh, the total resistance of resistors that are connected in series? We simply say 
resistor equivalence is equal to resistor 1 plus resistor 2. Just the way you add numbers normally. So you're going to say equivalent resistance is equal to 3 plus 4. So equivalent resistance is equal to 7 ohms. So here, equivalent resistance is equal to 7 ohms. So you are at liberty to do the work, to do the work and show how you are actually step by step finding solutions. That is in a paper, you can use a pencil if you want, you can use a pencil and then you write the answers here uh, in pen. Okay, so we are done with the first question. We can move on to the second question. What is, it, what is the second question saying? The second question is saying calculate the potential difference. Okay. Calculate the potential difference across the three ohms resistor. The potential difference across the three ohms what? Resistor. So since we have found the resistance across uh, the, the resistance which is coming from all these resistors, which is the total resistance, we can make use of it together with this four here to find to find the current which is uh, surging across the circuit. So let's do this. So for us to do that, we need to make use of the equation. Uh, I need to make use of this equation. Let me do this. Let me bring in a paper here. We say current is given by voltage of what? Resistance. So let's check. Uh, we have tot we have voltage here, which is equal to four, and then resistance. That's the one that we found, right? That's the one we found. That is uh, seven. So we divide seven into four. Okay. So the answer here is current is equal to. 0 0.57 of course we have other digits there that's uh, 0 0.571428571 but in most cases we go with two decimal places so that would be 0 0.57 umpires right Ampere. now our interest is to find the voltage across this resistor here so then how do we determine that? So we know voltage is given by current times resistance. So since we know the current, say current is equal to, or voltage is equal to, our current is 0 0.57. Then the resistance coming from this resistor is 3. We can now multiply that, say 0 0.57 times uh, 0 0.57 times what? Times 3. Okay, so what are we going to have? So the answer is this one here. What is the answer? Can you see that? 1.71. 1, 1. 1. So the answer is voltage is equal to 1.71. 1.71. 1. So the answer here is 1.71 volts and just like that we are done so that's how simple this question is that's how simple this question is okay thank you so much for watching remember to share the video with all those that are writing stay blessed